All Chattanooga police officers are qualified by the state to carry guns. That's according to a new report. The city auditor says some of them haven't done the required training based on what is inside their personnel files. Kelsey Bagwell explains why there's more to those claims. Firearm training is one of the most important parts of being in law enforcement. A new report shows that not all Chattanooga police officers completed that training, but the department says there's a good reason why it appears not all of them are complying with the rules. An internal audit focuses on the Chattanooga Police Department's firearm training, or lack thereof. According to Auditor Stan Sewell, not all officers completed the training required by the state. <laughs> CPD Range Master Sergeant Les Stover says all of their officers have, in fact, received the mandated training, and there's a reason the audit doesn't show it. The software we had that we currently have is a little old. The inspection report looked at each active officer beginning January 2015 and ending in December, but during that time, some officers retired, became active duty military, or left for other reasons. Instead of noting those changes, the computer only noted that they did not complete that year's training. We strive for 100 percent, but there's always going to be a percentage of people for whatever reason or another that didn't make the, the, the fall quals. Sewell backs that up in the report. He says the best fix is investing in new software to track the training progress of each officer. The Chattanooga Police Department says they agree with the findings and they're working on solutions. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Kelsey Bagwell, News Channel 9. This was the first audit of its kind in Chattanooga. According to Stan Sewell, it was added to their agenda because findings could present an area of risk for the city. Sewell says a new tracking system will be a sufficient